Cause I want to know what he had to say about this, this, this whole cast not thing and everything. This, 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 this right here is out of control and I'm pretty sure he got a good amount to say on this. All right, let's get it. I know everybody was, everybody know about Kai, Kai Sinat and everything. He actually got arrested for, what's what they say, in inciting of, inciting a riot. They didn't say he started it. They just said inciting a riot. So, he's already out, you know, by the way, but, you know, it's crazy how that went down. All right, so boom, let's talk about this Kai Sinat situation. And I ain't gonna lie to you, if I was in New York, I would have been down there. I had no clue this was transpiring. I'm back out here in Texas for a second weekend. This time, collaborate with the end of club. That's, fun. week, that's funny. For Dream Con. But one way that's funny. That's funny. He, the whole weekend, he actually go down to Houston. This all happened. This all happened at, um, in New York. And I'm pretty sure he's based out of New York, too. So. It's like that one weekend he actually just left. He left to go to Houston. He ended up getting here, you know. All this stuff happened in New York. Let's let's go. Way or another. Had I been in New York, had I been privy to the fact this was transpiring, I probably would have been out there at Union Square just observing at what transpired. Because I had a chance to see Kaisen that last week at DreamCon. And it just seemed like where yeah he did he did he did a crowd congregating forming chasing behind him whether to get a photo get a quick video yep. or just capture footage of him live and in color in front of you it just seemed very odd like i seen people rush after mark phillips i saw them rush after the entirety of rdc i saw people chase down a bunch of different content creators but for whatever reason yep. kai walked in the room People Man. not only was rushing, they was on a mission. They said, I will get this photo. I will get this video. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. The joke. No pun intended. But here we are this past weekend. What since transpired in New York City? It appeared that Kai Sinat had a PlayStation 5 giveaway. Or PlayStation I didn't know nothing about it. Just to give back to the community. Did not have any licenses, did not have any permits, did not nope. inform law enforcement nope. that this would be going down. He just figured, hey, I'll I'm just going to show up. His giveaway in exactly. My town and let's see what happens. Kai Sinat, this is what happened. Giveaway. He announced it on his Instagram feed. Crazy. Um, it's basically become a mob the scene. Car? They're on top yep. of the car. Yep. They're on top of the car. They riding. <laughs> One nincompoop stole the commercial vehicle and drove it down the street. That dumbass. Like why? And then they were rocking other vehicles I didn't even know anything about that. Just like Shawn Michaels and Marty Jannetty. Really? Rock crowds in the early 90s and late 80s with their groundbreaking tag team of the Rockers. And now a word from our sponsors. Pro wrestling fans, it's time for the season finale of Dark Side of the Ring season four. And they saved the best episode for last because it's the world okay. according to the legendary Marty Jannetty, one half of the Rockers tag team. Anybody who is a wrestling fan, people out there, not only just in long sleeves, All right, got in it. hoodies. With ski masks on, scullies in the height of summer. In oh! Yeah, doing that, miss. It's crazy. It is so crazy. Plus degree weather. You can't tell me these people did not go out there purposely to make sure that their image was They were trying to get in. If they began to do some I'm going to tell you this straight up. They were trying to get in some shit. I'm going to be straight up raw with it. They were trying to get in some shit. And you notice most of everybody that's out there in the street like that, they are teenagers or they're a little bit over 18. They ready to get in some shit. And the thing about it is, it was the whole thing of them taking advantage. Them taking advantage of the situation. And then... If one person was doing it, oh, well, might as well say everybody else do it. You know, that's pretty much what happened, man. That's pretty much what happened. It's crazy. Salute Tom Foolery. 
But wait, there's more. People were fighting <laughs> in the streets. Jumping yeah. Cars. Nah, I didn't see that one. I didn't see that. Why are they kicking somebody car? They just broke a window. Are you serious? Lighting firework. Bro, are you serious? Pulling down all kinds of different structures. Nah, y'all niggas is fucking up. We can't have shit. Jumping on top of street traffic light. This can't be happening, yo. Look, seriously. Honestly, honestly, I just thought it was just them being out in the street. Just being out in the street, being in the way, trying to get up the car. This right here, I did not know none of this was going down. None. This is crazy. No, man. See, I see why they had to get him booked in for that. Even though I know he didn't deserve it, but still, I see exactly why they had to book him for that. Because this right here, bro, this is like too much, man. This is so too much. Why? Why? Look at this. Like, why? And where are they at? Really? Bro, seriously? This don't make no sense. Don't get me wrong. Of course you're going to be in a situation where there are some bad apples amongst the ranks and amongst the group. But everybody, though? why did people think this was appropriate? But I'm telling you as a psychologist, I'm not going to be able to psychologize all of them on the corner. Some of them going to sleep for God. They were throwing paint cans over barricades. They were throwing all kinds of things at individuals. This is this is crazy. What? Striking police officers. What? Police officers started wilding at one particular point too, slamming people into backs of taxi window. I think I seen that one. Yeah. Ooh. And I, I, I didn't get a good look at that. So how many officers was out there? They done unleashed the clip for fucking police officers across the entire city. I'm pretty sure there were no officers in Harlem. Upper East Side, they was all at Union Square trying to go, you know, reclaim the peace, and it just became craziness. This assembly Look at this mess. You are ordered to disperse. If you leave voluntarily, no charges will be placed against you. If you refuse to leave, you will be arrested for unlawful assembly. Once the giveaway was officially supposed to begin, and um, AMP was going to begin handing out said PlayStation 5s or maybe did they even do it what the rules of the giveaway may be whatever the case may be people started to push and everything like that and every city across America if you happen to have a bunch of people congregated in one location when pushing and shoving begins you would assume a riot would begin New York City people angry by default you look at somebody the wrong way a fight might mess around exactly so there's no way a native new yorker did not know this could easily easily mess around and descend into absolute debauchery and that's exactly what transpired that's the vehicle right there that they believe kai Sanat is in right now oh, no 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 uh -huh. no and they, oh, That's straight up. Just fell. Someone fell off. Okay. Chill, chill, chill. Man, this is crazy, yo. Why they do that to him? Oh God. No, 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 no. This is terrible. Ah, chill, chill. People are falling off the car. Do not know none of this stuff was going on. 
couple of officers were taken to the hospital. A few civilians done headed to the hospital. Countless individuals done messed around and got hurt. Bunch of different businesses just so happened to get ravaged. If you had a food truck out there, you probably still cleaning it up till this day. It's been two days. They still cleaned up Union Square. For what? Why? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with y'all? You niggas are crazy! You know what's wild? In the midst of all the hysteria, what was transpiring, there was a child who was out there having a panic attack, and it was Kai Sinat who went himself to aid the child in overcoming said anxiety and getting back on track. Okay. Kai, she was so good. She was with us the whole time. Man, it's crazy. But all these other nincompoops decided, oh man, we would be jumping on cars, we want to knock down food trucks. It's like they showed up with bad intentions already. Exactly. Oh, they That's they exactly my point. Oh, 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 oh. Appreciate everybody who popped out for y'all, bro. Thanks. We gonna make sure it's safe. The lie detector determined that was a lie. That was a lie. We're not gonna do nothing until it's safe. Yeah, we gotta make sure it's safe. Everybody's good. But find us already. We are the police. We are the police. I know they all. I know they all not sitting up here to myself. I got him. No, I got him. I know I got him, man. Somebody better get him out of that crowd. I know that much. Damn, they just lift him up like a little baby. Kai since been released. Will he face jail time? No. It's going to end up being the exact same thing that done happened with Travis Scott, where you're going to have that public, you know, uh, 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 um, judgment that then comes yeah. out. You're going to have him having to be in front of everything that since transpired and having to take responsibility, rightfully so, for what transpired. But for some fan base, I'm pretty sure he's looking at y'all sideways because it really didn't have to go down like this. Like I stated, No, it before, didn't. This could have been a situation it where, of course, there's an unlawful assembly, but it could have been incredibly peaceful. People come together, everybody laughs exactly. about their favorite AMP moments. That's what he thought probably it talking about their other favorite creators or maybe a common interest that they may mess around in. And that's probably and see, that's what probably what he thought was gonna happen, but it didn't happen that way. It never happened that way. It didn't even happen that way for if I'd probably give him ten percent. It probably happened that way at ten percent, but other than that, no. It didn't it wasn't even fifty. Nowhere near close 50. And for him to sit up there and come off and think that everybody was just going to sit up there and be like, hey, what's up, dude, and everything like that? No. Nah. Hang on for a minute. There we go. But, yeah. That, that wasn't going to happen. New York, too? Yeah, that wasn't going to happen. And have people just having a peaceful time enjoying the ambiance of being around like-minded individuals and then exactly. you go about the rest of your day they'll probably look at it like wow this is really the power of social media you got one streamer come out here thousands upon thousands of people pull up and everybody have a good goddamn time but for whatever reason these people want to play into the stereotype jumping on fucking cars start ravishing and trashing locations i don't care if it's young individuals older individuals we all understand what's right and wrong but exactly. not all of us understand there's consequences for your actions. Like, why would you think this was cool? I'm pretty sure there's people who literally was live streaming, maybe recording on their story, posting whether it been on um, they Facebook, did. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, threads. It doesn't matter what the hell the case is. I'm pretty sure they were very happy about the behavior that since transpired out there. And what sucks is all of this is going to fall on Kai, which I understand a portion needs to. Because he's the one who ultimately yeah. orchestrated the entire thing, but it wasn't supposed to go down like this. I just, I just said no that. I said, said that early. Go out there and cause a riot, start wilding. You saw when he was talking inside the car before they went out. Yo, y'all be peaceful. Y'all make sure y'all safe out there. And yet, still, people decided to take this as an opportunity to start wilding. Don't get exactly. Me wrong. I told you. Conspiracy theories. Well, I could say maybe there were some agents amongst the ranks who decided to go out there and begin to ride themselves. But still. You can see in real time, it's kids, it's young people, willfully doing this tomfoolery. For what? He's going to be charged with uh, uh, multiple counts, uh, at least two counts of um, inciting a riot, unlawful assembly. Yep. And 
and a few other charges. There was a number of people who happened to be out there jumping on top of stuff, and they red fled the scene. They ran, fled the scene, made it back to their crib, and they just laughing about what transpired. They laughing about it. No don't even care about Kai. What it is that they done did, or they're well aware of what happened, and they don't care. Like it really does suck that it's gonna be Kai AMP who's gonna have to deal with the bulk. All that, all that stuff. Have. You don't find that suspicious. I know Kai and AMP does a lot, a lot of outlandish things. Whether it was the fireworks war that they had going down over there. Yeah, I did the see that a little crazy bit. Crazy streams that they have going on. But I'm pretty sure they do all of that in the name of entertainment, right? But to see them go out in public and then people start to try to replicate and imitate. It's crazy, and man. Spot and now you find yourself in this situation. Like, imagine your favorite streamer, your favorite entertainer, if you will gets booked because of the actions of the congregation that you were I'm going to keep it 100 with if it was any other creator that wasn't Kai I mean it was like Ninja or somebody like that none of that wouldn't have happened I'm going to say it just like that I'm going to keep it 100 with you. First of all, he probably wouldn't have been naive about it. He probably would have had it, everything all set up and everything like that, like he's supposed to. Now, Kai, I hold him accountable for that. Because even I don't even have a big, big following like that. I know you're supposed to have you know, some type of say to the law enforcement or to the city, any type of paperwork or anything like that. You know you're supposed to have all that if you're going to have you an event. He just went from his own free will and did it that way. Wasn't the right way to go. Now, somebody like Ninja, on the other hand, or somebody like that, they probably would have sat up there, got the information like they're supposed to or whatever and stuff. I mean, it, the judgment is just bad with the whole A.M.P. and Kai thing. Ultimately, judgment was bad. Which I get how you will feel like if you just want to just show up and just hand stuff out. I get it. But there's a reason why things are put in place like the way it's supposed to be. And see, if you would have sat up there and did the whole. um, What is that? did the whole permit and all the other stuff and everything chances are the city of new york will probably provide them police escorts some type of you know ramifications it put in place to keep everything in order but when you just show up on your own accord and then a whole lot of other people just show up my thing is i'm trying to figure out how and where all the people knew about it and i didn't know nothing about it and I used to keep up with this stuff. And I don't even know how and what they knew about it. They probably probably must have said it on the stream or something like that. Cause I often and on see his streams. I don't look at his streams all the time. But I see him sometimes. He probably said it on the stream or something like that. But still. Man. That sucks, yo. It sucks. I mean, like I said, Kai is a good dude. I, I, I know of him a good amount. A great ordeal. And it, it sucks. It really sucks. Yeah, that was the whole thing I was thinking about. I'm like, everybody sitting out here going around, acting like acting like pure fool, fools. All the extra stuff on the video, I did not even know all that took place. I did not know they trashed somebody's car. I didn't know anything about they had took out. They took somebody's truck. Bro, like... That's some crazy stuff, man. I'm I'm actually tempted to actually look on his past stream, his past stream, or look on a Twitter or something like that, and see what his whole reaction was out of that whole thing. We're a part of. I would feel terrible, but I'm pretty sure people don't care because, like I've said nope. for years, when it comes to the social media stuff, people are on the way. Once things go awry, and they move on with the remainder of their day, though. Think about That's the it. power of social media 
that can be on display here where you have a streamer say hey i'm coming to this location thousands of people pull up imagine if it didn't go down like this there was an op opportunity for people to network meet with each other just simply have a good time have the yep. giveaway you see your favorite streamer you go home still there probably would have been a situation where there is the uh, um unlawful assembly but you probably wouldn't have a situation where it's inciting the riot if everything went down without all of the time exactly that transpired if, in the streets all was that, that yes absolutely not but then as soon as he came everybody saw the wall and everybody saw throwing saying you know getting crazy you know here's my final thoughts about the particular situation i admire what kai amp and everybody else attempted to do this past weekend attempted to give back to the community but there's a particular way that you should go about it for example if you take a look at what rdc did with dreamcon that's the right way to do it despite the fact that there are other underlying problems that exist you set it up in a situation to where you avoid the absolute tomfoolery that can transpire out there in exactly what i just say pop up to a particular location you at a different level right now you can't do nothing like that no more then to make matters mm -mm. worse, you got to make sure you put yourself in a scenario where individuals are properly vetted so you don't find yourself in a scenario like you had this past weekend. Because guess what? You're the number one followed streamer in the world. It's not just to stay in the world. And somehow, this is how they're going to view you and your audience for some time to come. Oh, no, nah, they're all hooligans out there. Oh, no, nah, they're all fucked. See? Oh, nah, they yep. just want to go out there and the representation of you, bro. The way they're going to view it. No matter the videos that you help representation out there on the street having that attack, no matter the amount of giveaways that you just so happen to do, you know, in the community, no matter how much joy and laughter and entertainment that you bring to people, no matter what they may be going through in life, they're going to end up saying, this is what your image is. And it's going to be this past weekend. You got to make sure you got the proper structures and procedures to make sure you don't find yourself in situations like this. Exactly. And it's very unfortunate because this could have been a good part of social media and it ended up turning in to the bad part of a whole media. lot of I'm bad very disappointed i'm very disappointed that it just so happened to go down man and i feel bad for them because although they should have went about it the right way they heart at least was in the right spot and it ends up turning out like this and you're gonna have to deal with multiple upon multiple fines for not only the businesses that was out there but then also the effect of what transpires to the countless other individuals who just so happen to be involved. To the officers yep. who messed around and got hurt. To the other civilians who messed around and got hurt. To the countless different vendors, food trucks, or other businesses that just so happen to be damaged. All of this is going to fall on AMP and pr primarily on Kai Sinat. He's going to have to face the music and shell out, I, I would assume, millions of dollars to go and get all Rob, this stuff situated. Rob, and it's crazy because i'm pretty sure when he woke up that morning only thing on his mind was yo it's gonna be crazy today but we're gonna give out we're gonna have a good time giving the ps5 to the people out there we're gonna enjoy ourselves we're gonna go back home and everything's gonna be out and you know something that's probably how he woke up thinking too but it it didn't even turn nowhere near that like seriously it, that's it's boy that's messed up bro that's all messed up and that ain't what the fuck happened nope and he was released what happened to the playstations guys fuck all of that he kept them hell i want to know too but i know for a fact he kept them he didn't give nothing out he couldn't get nothing out Damn, man, that sucks, man. Can't never have nothing nice because you always got a bunch of people that's spoiling it for everybody. So he need to do it like he needs to try to do it the way like, um, what's the name? Uh, the other guy I look at, um, Corey Kenshin. He should have at least did it like that. I mean, it's going to cost, it's going to cost. But right now, at this point, I don't even think it's really the whole costing thing that you need to be worrying about. Because now, you sitting up here, had all that stuff going on. Now, it's going to cost you, like, like Adonis said, about close to, like, either close to or at a million dollars to reimburse 
for the city, repercussions and all the other stuff that's going on around in the city. When you could have had, I know for a fact, you could at least like chump that down to half by shipping the actual consoles to the actual people individually. Like, come on, man. Like, seriously. That sucks. It really do sucks. 